welcome to another video on learning Photoshop. Now in this video we're going to take this image and we're going to turn it into this image using an action. Now if you want to get this absolutely awesome action then visit the link I'm going to put it on the screen to the Graphic River website. Right okay let's start with this image. It's one from a recent photo shoot I did with Andy Crowley, an amazing guitar player and teacher. Andy has kindly given me permission to use this image in the tutorial, so thanks to Andy for that. If you want to learn how to play the guitar, look him up, andyguitar.co.uk, and tell him I said hello. Right, what we're going to do is try and start here with this image of Andy, and we're going to try and end up, after using the action, with this image, which is a little bit of a an explosive action and I think it looks really cool. Okay so let's make a start. First thing I want to do is to extend the canvas a little bit so I've got I'm going to give all these particles and this explosion uh, an area to run into. So let's first extend the canvas and I'm going to do that in a quick and dirty way with the crop tool. I'll just zoom out a little bit to give myself a little bit more room and I'll select the crop tool and then I'm going to click and drag on this to just drag it out to about the place where we want it. We're somewhere there and that's a quick and dirty way to do it and we'll just accept that. Okay let's just bring the layers panel up and we can see now that we've got our layers panel here and we've got a background. What we need on here now is a uh, is a layer to put some paint on and when we paint the action is then going to use that to, to create all the effects for us. So I'm going to go down to the bottom of the layers panel and I'm going to click on the new layer icon to give me a new layer and I'm going to double click that in the box and I'm going to call it brush. Now it is important this that it is called brush and they are all lowercase letters because that's what the action is looking for. Now a couple of more things to check just to make sure that the action runs okay is to go up to image and mode and check that your RGB color and you're on 8 bits. If you're on anything else then the action won't work properly. And another thing if we go to the panel flyout menu over here and click on that. Right down at the bottom you've got panel options. I know you can't see it, it's just off the bottom of the screen, but if you click on panel options you'll get this dialog and we just need to make sure that there's a tick in add copy to copy layers and groups. That being OK, we're ready to go. So we need to click in the brush in the brush layer just to make sure that it's, uh, it's active and then we're going to pick a colour doesn't really matter what colour. I'll pick a red one with the colour swatch and then I'll go and pick my brush tool. I'll zoom in a little bit with control and plus and then I'll just move around a bit with holding the space bar and clicking and dragging. And now I'm going to paint on. That's about the right size paintbrush for this image, about 50 pixels I think. So anywhere I want to paint is, is the area that's going to blur. So I'll, I'll go down the arm here and all the way down the side. I'll put a little bit on here and probably we'll do the underside of here and its hand. I want quite a bit in here so I'm just going to paint a bit in so we get quite a, an effect in the middle and then his guitar I would really like to be a major part of the effect so I'm going to paint that all in. And then just a little bit going up the middle of the guitar up there. And then down the side of his leg I'd like that to blow out and a little bit probably half of his foot and the same with this side and just fill that in a little bit fill that in a little bit I think we'll leave it at that so we've now defined an area in red 
uh, on a on a layer called brush that the the action is now going to have a have a look for that so it needs it to be there okay I'm going to go to my actions panel now and then down to sandstorm which is the action and you've got options left right up down and middle I've left a load of space to the left hand side so I'm going to blow this out to the left so all I need to do is click once on the action and then click the go button which is this little triangle here and I'm going to click it and then let it go and sometimes depends on the resolution of your image it, it could take a few minutes so you may need to just go and have a cup of tea but by the wonders of video editing I'll be able to go to, to the end quicker for you so I'm going to click on that and just watch it go I'll just click back to the layers panel for you you can see the action actually working and pow there it is I'll just control and minus just to have a look at that on the screen a little bit more oh yeah oh I like that right okay the actions run and that's all in the actions panel if we scroll up to the top you can see there's quite a lot of it but if we can, we can close all the action up now if you hold the shift key and the control key and you click on this little triangle here it will close all the action up and you can see that we the actions built into three parts there's a sharpening layer which is this top layer there's a color group and this group means there's, there's lots of things inside it and then there's the sandstorm itself which is all the particles now if we go to the color and we just click to open up that you'll see that there are there's some there are some adjustment layers on the top but the ones that you really want to look at are these color options so I'll just close them down by clicking them little triangles and you'll see we've got 12 color options and these are just color options for you to play with so if I turn that off that's basically the colors as, as they were in the image and then we've got color option one and you just go through them until you find a color that you like and you can actually mix and match them so we can put two on three on four on you can actually go through and mix all the colors up in any order that you like okay so we'll just go back and close up color and now we'll look at the actual action itself the sandstorm and these are all the particles and it's up to you you can go in and play around with these if you like I'll just show you one of them these are the large particles so these are these big blobs so I'll just turn one of these on and off just to see which is. you see all those particles those big blobs they're on this LPB one and if I turn that off you can see that those disappear and if you wanted to move those what you could do if you click on that layer and then go into transform mode control and T you could then click and drag those because they're on an individual layer so you can move those around if they're not exactly in the right place you can move them around and then double click to accept it now let's just close that up again and you can see now that if you wanted to run the action again all you need to do is to delete these three layers and then you'd be back to your original background and that brush layer which you could then erase all that and start again now if you've finished with this and you want to flatten it all down I can click on the top and then go to the panel flyout menu and choose flatten image do I want to discard the hidden layers yes because I want to flatten it all so I can share it as a JPEG and there we've got the final image I can see down here I've got a little bit of a of a line because me my new uh, extended canvas is a slightly different color so what I could probably do is just to try and cover that up is let's just try the clone stamp tool make that a little bit bigger and I'll just try and borrow some by alt clicking some of these dots and just placing them around there like that there we are gone well that's it how to use and modify the sandstorm action okay thanks for watching for more training on Photoshop and Lightroom please subscribe to my YouTube channel live link training or visit my website kenfisherphotography.com 
Bye for now.